Hello, hello, hello. My name is Axel. Welcome back to Sky Adventures. How is everyone doing? I hope you're all doing well, having a grand old day. I'm doing well, thanks. Last episode we did this, uh, and this, and, and, and these. And this is working well. So look at this. We've got a stack and a bit. I've been just AFKing a little bit. And we've got, look at that, almost 200, 258,000. 389,612 EMC. How very lovely. And uh, let's also get rid of that. There we go. So, um, today I would like, yeah, you can see there, I've been looking. I would like a jetpack because I've sort of been a little bit worried about falling off here. Uh, and I don't really want to, I don't, well, I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to. So, we need a jetpack, and I'm thinking this one will be the best one, the resonant version. There's uh, IC2. There's also this version, which is um, using the Ender IO stuff, which we, I suppose we could do. Um, I don't know, in fact, if, yeah, only the proper alloy smelter does that, maybe. Well, maybe not. Um, what have we got here? What's energetic? Maybe this is a better one to do. I don't know. Alloy smelter. Can the simple one do uh, this? So redstone, gold, and what is it? Glowstone dust. Let's have a look. So redstone, gold, and there we go. Let's have a look, see. Let's have a look at if this can do it. Yes, that can do it. And then vibrant stuff. That is 20 million. So it's not as big, weirdly, it's not as big as the resonant version. Um, and obviously you need to make more with all of this vibrant stuff. Um, what is, what is that? That is an ender pearl. And I think, do we have an ender pearl? I think we do. We totally do. We totally do. So just wait for this to finish. You can see 84%. And, and by, by the way, people have very much told me that refined storage, it used to do, um, it used to go along with the transmutation table, but it's been removed, which is just a little bit gutting, you know, just a little bit sad. There we go. Learn that. There we go. Bam. Put you in. Yes, you are also doing stuff. Amazing. So, uh, we then, we also need to make, basically, we each, so it starts with, ah, conductive iron. What is this? I presume iron and redstone. Yes. So let's get, let's get those out. Um, oh, no, that is enriched stuff. We just need the normal stuff. What else do we need? Electrical steel, which is obviously, ah, silicon, iron, and, ah, now then, pulverized coal. So we need, we will need to pulverize some coal. We could just make a quartz grindstone. Yeah, let's do that because that is nice and simple. Um, Oh, and it is getting nice. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to make all of these. I don't think you need to see me do all of this because all I am doing is basically just doing that constantly. Uh, so that's what I'm going to be spending my time doing, trying to level up to the Vibrant Jetpack. Now, obviously, thankfully, once we make like one of these, ah, there you go. Redstone alloy ingot. Okay. Silicon and okay, so there's a lot of little things to make, but obviously we just need to make one of each and then learn it in here and then we can get it out of here. And obviously whilst I'm doing this, this is still making its stuff as well. So we're doing all right. Look at this, look at this. I have jetpack, I can fly, which is really quite nice. Um, I know it's loud. Let's just have a quick look what is under here, if anything. Oh, that's gone very dark. Um, so there's one of the holes that we probably fell through, all of those. And it doesn't look like there's really anything else here. Quite unremarkable. I don't know where the vines came from. I don't really understand why we have them there. Um, man, why is it? It's going down really fast. Normally hover mode is a little bit, a little bit better than that. But uh, anyway, let's land. Bam. Uh, and I've only got, right, I've got the hardened jetpack. So I, I did end up going down the thermal route and, and you can see it's charging. And I'll tell you why I didn't go down the Ender IO route. And it's because of the chassis. Um, so that is pretty simple to make. 
We've got all of that already, um, but this industrial dye blend. So since the update of Enderio, I, I, I know a lot of people have had issues with the Grains of Infinity. I don't really mind those so much. They're a bit weird, but they're, they're fine. But it's this that really gets me. So you have to get crushed quartz powder, crushed lapis, which is fine, not too bad. But then you need black dye, so you need some sort of organic black dye, which you can make. It is doable, but it's a pain. And then this organic green dye, which you also have to make. And it's this one that I specifically find really quite uh, rubbish. And worse, you can see there's no EMC value. So, uh, yeah, you... Nah. I, 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 I ran. I stopped uh, and we went back to uh, thermal. So I've got the hardened, which is the tier two. Uh, and that's only because I, I think... Did I? Oh, yeah. There you go. I needed destabilized redstone. So I needed to start getting into machinery a bit more. And I thought, you know what? We need to do something about our power. Now, what I have done is we need to get under here. Let's start just ripping a little bit of this out. Uh, and there we go. What I have done is I've added... There we go. I've added some flux stuff. Um, so for people that don't know, this is like wireless, a way to wirelessly transfer RF. So this is a, a plug. There's another one as well. And you can see input that is all happening, uh, which is very, very nice. Uh, and that sends it to the flux network. And then this here is also, this is the controller, as you can see. And I've got wireless charging enabled which is very nice and you can actually I think configure yeah there you go you can actually see you can like do different things with this which is which is pretty amazing like um armor inventory true yeah so we could actually put all of that off right hand left hand so that is basically just charging what is in the armor slots right now which is pretty great that's pretty nice and it's wireless so I don't really have to think about it which is sort of why I did it so we've got this magmatic generator here uh, set up doing its thing and it's okay it's working fine the crucibles you know working fine at the rate of four times but we can make all of this better we can make all of this better and one of the ways i've noticed if we have a little look see at the old crucible again uh, so crucible and click on users crucible heat sources which is lovely and um, there is the yellow room block which i thought might be an, a thing to do cyanite I think plutonium seems to be the quickest with 20. But look, see here, blazing pyrothium. What is that? Well, we need to make some pyrothium dust and then smelt it to get the blazing pyrothium. But what is pyrothium dust? Well, it is just that. It is blaze powder, sulfur, and redstone. I actually got some sulfur. I needed some to make the jetpack, and I actually made a pulverizer. If you smelt netherrack into gravel, there's like a 15% chance of getting some. So that's what I exactly what I did. Um, so now we should have, uh, if we come here, where's the redstone? I, there, there it is. Um, hang on a sec. There we go, there's the sulfur, there's the sulfur. So if I put this, nope, that is the wrong thing. We whack this into here. There we go, pyrothium dust, EMC value, so very important. We put this in here so it can learn it. Excellent, so now we need, um, what is it called again? Nope. Uh, Magma Crucible? Yeah, I thought it was. And then I thought, no, surely it's not. But obviously everything's called Magmatic something. So Magma Crucible, what do we need? We need some Nether Brick, Copper Gear, Redstone. Ah, and is that... Is that specifically that? Oh, it looks like it. It looks like it. So that is a little bit of a pain. One of these, Machine Frame is easy. We've got Reception Coils, Copper Gear. Um, one, two... No, two, was it? Netherrack, one, two, three, four, that was. Let's put that in here. Does that not really? Or is that because it's on alloys only? No, oh, I don't know. I don't know. Let's put that in there. There we go. And uh, machine frame. There we go. And then what was it? What was the last thing? So nether bricks. Ah, fuse quartz. So... 
Oh, just putting four. Okay. We should be able to do that. Hopefully. Hopefully. One, two, three, four. Please tell me you work. It looks like it. Excellent stuff. So we'll whack this in to the old transmutation tablet so it knows it. I do love the transmutation tablet. It is great. It's a very interesting way of doing it. I know some people aren't liking this pack mainly because it's because of this, you can get access to things a lot easier, but it's a nice way of doing it's a, it's a bit different. And I like that. I like, I like doing it a different way. There we go. Bam. And, and actually because you can't hook it up to a crafting grid, it is like, it's not, it's not ridiculously easy to, um, to do, you know, there we go. Nether brick, one of these, right. Um, is that EMC'd? Oh, yes, it is. Let's do that. There we go. I love it. I love it when something has an EMC value. So magma crucible, bam, done. Make sure it's got that. Right now, this needs some power. Um, and I think, I presume if I put it there, it should get some. Yes. Yes, it will. This is going to really deplete our, our stuff. But, but, but once we can remove this and put some, put some of this in there, that's going to be a lot better. So I'm going to leave it to run. Look, yeah, it's really taxing our, um, I think what I could do is, yeah, just take that off for the moment. And, uh, ah, yeah, I'm going to let this run. There we go. We've got 1,000 now. I had to smelt up another two of them. So can I get this out? Yes, I can. I totally can. Excellent. Uh, good to know. Can I get down here? <laughs> we will sort all this out. Don't worry. I'm not going to leave it like this. I know some people will be worried that I I will leave it like this because that is sometimes what I end up doing. Um, can I? There we go. So let's put you there now, like that. Ow, 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 ow. Man, everything, everything went on fire. Wow. Uh, did that just, oh wow, it did. Uh, we need to get, we need, <laughs> we need to get some water for that to keep on working. That was exciting. Uh, there we go put you is that now going yes there you go a rate of 15 times so rather than putting this here we are going to get that really re there we go i'm going to move you and put you here there we go and that is immediately making so power output is also 40 RF. But what it means is that the magmatic generator and everything from extra utilities, basically, um, it takes, it takes, um, grid power. And what was happening was when it was night, because we've got the solar, um, power panels for grid power, it would, it stopped working. So we stopped getting, we stopped getting any, um, any power, which that's not what we want. And uh, can I actually, oh yeah, look at this. I can actually get that. So there we go. We are getting, oh look, look, that is like super, super fast. So what we could do is uh, if we look at some augments for this, for instance, um, I can't remember which ones they are. So is that just the speed processing power? Maybe secondary output. There's a few of these that we should be able to Ah, there you go. Increases power generation. So that might be worth doing. Silver and redstone transmission coil. So let's have a look. Coil. Oh, and I think actually, ah, I think I need to silver. One, two, three, four. Was it something like that? Was it that? Uh, where are we? Uh, no, it was this one, was it? Was it? No, it was not. Why? There it is, that one. Bam. I actually need to upgrade this first. So let's do that. Um, up. Hey, copper and invar. Oh, no. Ah, and it was bronze. Okay, hang on. Right. So if I do this, there we go. That's, that's a little bit better now. And then I should be able to pop that in there as well. So that's gone up to about 90 now. Which is great. So we can keep upgrading that basically. And I've had to put cobble everywhere because the blazing pyrothium clearly it just keeps it just keeps adding like 
flames everywhere. So um, we will sort this out. We will sort. This is all a little bit temporary for now. Um, but I mean, we've got so many of these. We could easily, we could actually add um, a lot of these. And that's probably what I should do is just uh, add a fair few more magmatic. Uh, dynamos because we've got so much lava just generating from that one um, but that should uh, now if we put that on there as well that should do it now the the other thing I want to sort of do is actually if we go into flux that ah and I've not used these before and um, there's the flux storage and you can see um, it 256,000 RF and then 12.8 million and then 128 million. So it would be nice to try and do that. So let's have a look. See, flux, let's put that in. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we needed glass. Nope. Panes. There we go. So that's what, what's this? Uh, nope. That's manager's energy. 256,000. Which is pretty good. Like that's that's pretty decent. There we go. We learned that. What is the MC of that? Okay, so that's not too bad. And what's the next one? So six of these. So one, two, three, four, five. There we go. Oh, okay. You've already for whatever reason. So that's that. That's twelve point eight million. So that's again pretty good. What about this? I bet we can't do this. I bet this one's too much. Yeah, 466. Wow. Um, how much gold do we have? Oh, we've got quite a lot. Quite a lot. So let's dump all that in. What's magmatic generator? Has this been learned? Oh, I can't even... There you go. Look, extra utilities not involved in the old EMC thing, which I think is another good reason to use uh, thermal. Thermal stuff. So Herculean... Uh, one, two, three, four, four. We need one more, and I don't think we. Can. Oh yeah, we can just do it. We can just, uh, just, just about do it. Okay, bam. Gargantuan storage. Yes, boom. Uh, and I think because I've sort of half forgotten about the quests. Um, if I'm honest, <laughs> there is somewhere storage maybe. I'm sure I see one somewhere. Tech. Ah, there you go. So all these I should do, in fact. Flux, one, 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 one. That's a bit rubbish. But five. Ah, there you go. Fifteen. Uh, doesn't consume item. Come on. I've got it. That is that is it there. Nope. That's the admin panel. That's not what I want, even, even slightly. Why? Why? Are you not doing it? <laughs> Why is that not happening? Give me my stuff. Do, do I have to have that? It, it doesn't say that there's anything required. So usually when something is like required, you can see it says required by or requires. There you go. Um, so I don't know why that isn't working. But that is a little bit annoying, but I can hook this up. I can start at least storing a lot of power that we don't really have any use for right now. There you go. That's going to be it for today. Thanks very much for watching. We've got a, a fair amount done, not as much as last episode, but uh, we got ourselves a jetpack. We can fly a little bit uh, and we've also got some better RF production and storage. So that will do us for today. Thank you so much for watching. I've been Hector. Uh, this has been Sky Adventures. If you liked it, do leave a comment or uh, hit the subscribe button if you fancy. That would be much appreciated. But I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.